Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about the novel Night, written by Ellie Wiesel. Now before I go into the summary analysis of this novel, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. Now in this novel, we get a closer look to World War II, to the concentration camps within World War II. Um, as we all know, over 6 million Jewish individuals died within World War II, and what happened to them were... Um, it's just unspeakable. And in this novel, what we get, we get a closer look at what happened to these individuals. We specifically focus on um, a, an individual by the name of Eliezer and his family. Um, and basically what happens is at the beginning of the novel, um, Eliezer is living a normal life. He's going to school. He's being educated in all of the obligations that he has to uphold. Um, as a Jewish individual, and everything is going well for him. Everything is is just you know as you would expect it. He has his parents, he has his siblings. He he you know he's living a good life, um, and you know he has aspirations and expectations for the future. The thing is, life doesn't really go how Eliezer wants it to go. Um, further on into the novel, we see that. Um, his community is turned upside down. All of the individuals who are Jewish within his community, um, they all get kicked out of their houses. They all get pushed out. And the Nazis um, and, you know, the German regime just basically pushes them all out. At first, they thought that they were going to um, go to... They, were go they thought that they were going to be deported or being sent to different countries. But that was just not the case. So... What happens that is very um, sad, very depressing, is that um, Eliezer gets separated from his mom and his sisters. Um, it's him and his father that, that stay together, and they just get sent to different concentration camps. Um, and this is where the, the appalling nature, the horrific nature of this novel really comes out. Um, in the concentration camps, you see people being killed for no reason. Um, you see people getting slaughtered for no reason, people being burned for no reason, um, and conditions get very, very horrific. Throughout the novel, or the entirety of the novel is just us following Eliezer and his father, um, being pushed around to different concentration camps. Um, the mode of transportation that they use throughout the novel, that the Nazis used to, to transport them, um, you know, they use trains and, you know, there's dead bodies everywhere. Whenever somebody, di somebody dies, it's just... They just throw it out into the snow or just throw it out and just keep on going. Um, and so we see this young individual, Eliezer, who's this young kid who's just growing up. He's seeing dead bodies everywhere, people that look just like him, people from his background and his culture being killed off. You don't even have to do anything. If you just get on somebody's nerves or get on one of those soldiers' nerves, they will kill you without a, without a hesitation. Um, so... In the novel, you you basically we, we're given this account where you have to do what they tell you to do. When they're forcing them to walk or run or march, if you fall behind the line, if you fall behind the pack, um, they will take their their guns out and shoot you and kill you right then and there, no questions about it. And if you're too strong, if you seem like somebody that's going to act out or or um, misbehave in any way they kill you right then and there if you're too weak if you're about to die they kill you so it's very very horrific they treat um the jewish people within um this novel within uh, the holocaust you know you kind of get a clear picture that um you were killed off you were abused um you were treated less than a human being um just because and so the novel goes on and we see Eliezer being transported along with his father to different camps. They meet friends here and there, but you can't really stay friends with people that along with the novel because everybody's just trying to survive. Everybody's just um, trying to survive the war and not die. Um, so you can meet somebody one day and the next day they die. Um, within the novel, we even see this kid kill and fight his father for a piece of bread. Um, within the novel, within the concentration camps, there's not enough food to go around. All of these Jewish individuals, they're basically prisoners. Um, so whatever food that there is, it's being spread around very, um, like, like in small portions. So there's not really that much, um, for individuals to eat. And most of it is not even that really, it's not really edible. Um, so we see this one kid, he 
kills his father for a piece of bread. Um, and this is one of the things that's really appalling and very sad is just that um, since the, these Jewish individuals, since they have no way to survive, they have to fight amongst each other. And they, they in some ways, they lose their humanity because you will do anything to survive. You um, fight people, you beat people, you kill people. Um, you still close or anything that means that you live to see the next day. Um, you see a lot of characters do within um, the novel. Those who can't take it, those who can't do that, they die off. And you're if you're too weak, um, like there's there's this specific scene, a specific part of the novel where um, the Nazis are just forcing them to run in the snow from one concentration camp to another. And if you're just an inch behind, if you're just not cutting it, if you're too old. Um, you're killed. Um, most of the people that survive within the novel are the individuals that were young enough and found a way to survive. If you're too old, if you can't take the cold, the running, the intense labor, and if you get on somebody's a soldier's, a Nazi soldier's nerves, um, you're dead. So the novel goes on and we see that um, we don't really get an account of what happens to Eliezer's mother and sisters. Um, after they get separated, that's really all that we ever hear from them. Um, Eliezer's father dies within the novel. He he's just he's too old. He can't take um, the the rigorous um, lifestyle of being a, a prisoner, basically, um, and he dies within the novel. And Eliezer's left by himself. Towards the end of the novel, um, during in one concentration camp, we see that Eliezer he doesn't die. He's he's very weak. He's very um, you know, he's just barely living and his camp gets liberated and he has his freedom back. But we kind of see him kind of question his place in the world and even question God in a way because he's like, you know, I, I was prepared to devote my entire life to God and to my religion and to my people, to my culture. But how could God let this happen to us? It's, you know, over six million Jewish individuals, you know, who are, you know, Jewish people are very devoted to their uh, religion and to their culture. Um, and so we kind of see Eliezer kind of question that, how could this happen to us? How could this happen to me and my family? What did we do to deserve this? So we do kind of see him question his place in the world, his culture and his religion. And the novel, you know, of course, it just ends in a dark light in a dark place um, with millions of people dead, thousands of people and, you know, thousands of people dead. And they're really isn't there, there is no happy ending there is no closure it's just this specific group of people um Eliezer's family was separated destroyed and that 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 was it that that was World War II that was the concentration camp and that was the novel it really serves to show us the the appalling and horrific sides of war and of how Jewish individuals, Jewish people were treated during the Holocaust. In terms of analysis, in terms of the deeper meaning within this novel, I, you, you can see how if human beings meet the right circumstances, you kind of lose your, your, your humanity. The Jewish people, a lot, not all, but a lot of the, the individuals that are depicted within this novel, a lot of the Jewish individuals that are depicted within this novel, a lot of them, they choose to survive no matter what the means. They um, they will fight each other for bread. They will fight each other for places to sleep. Um, if there wasn't really that much medical care, but anything that could help you survive, that could help you live, um, they fought for it and, and they didn't think twice about hurting somebody else, um, to get it. And when you're just trying to survive, when you're just trying to live day by day, um, it's hard to think about humanity. It's hard to think about what's right or wrong because, you're hungry, you're starving, you're injured, you're just trying to save yourself. And in many ways throughout the novel, you kind of see there are certain people that just were in it for themselves. Um, the other thing is the Nazi soldiers, they within the novel, you kind of see them that they have no uh, emotions whatsoever. They did whatever they did because you know, maybe they were annoyed by somebody or maybe they were just out to kill as many Jewish individuals as they could. And you know, they're portrayed as individuals that are not human beings within the novel. And you just kind of see that through the way that they just kill without asking any questions, without any remorse. You know, if you do anything to violate their rules, you're, you're, you die. And, 
you know that's very there's no humanity in that so that is my summary and analysis of the novel night please remember to leave a like subscribe and or comment and i'll see you guys in the next video